The Judgment Day picked up a win over Riddle and Rey Mysterio after Seth Rollins got involved and went after Riddle as payback for Riddle uh, killing his chances of winning the U.S. title at the beginning of the night. There is still nothing at all interesting about Dominic as a heel so far, but he is getting pretty good heat so far without doing much of anything. In the back later, Riddle and Rollins had to be separated, and Rollins agreed to wrestle Riddle whenever and wherever he wanted it. He didn't, he didn't have any interest before in a rematch. Now he has changed his tune. You want a rematch, he got one. And Riddle said extreme rules in a fight pit match. Like I said earlier, it wasn't even a week before this when I was on that NXT year in review roundtable and I said, one thing I would love to see Triple H bring back in this next year is the fight pit match. I don't care if it's NXT. I don't care if it's the main roster. Bring back the fight pit. Five days later, we're getting another fight pit match. Our first one in probably, probably a year and a half, I would think. Maybe even longer. It's been at least a year and a half since we've seen one of these matches. I think the last one they did in NXT was Timothy Thatcher against Tommaso Ciampa. And they've only done two of them. The first one, they brought in Kurt Angle as the special referee. It was Thatcher against Riddle. Thatcher was in both matches, and he won them both. But I love it. You know, for those who don't know what a fight pit is, it is kind of similar to the old Lions Den match that WWE created for Ken Shamrock when he came into the company. Uh, they were both inspired by... MMA. With the fight pit, they retrofit the ring with this special cage. There's no top on it, but there is a ledge or a platform on top that they can brawl on or they could throw the other guy off of it into the ring. They could jump off of it. Uh, they take down the ropes. The only ways to win are by forcing your opponents to either tap out or by knocking them out. There are no pinfalls. It's the perfect stipulation to blow off a feud like this. And since Roman Reigns isn't wrestling on the show, I'm sure they're going to headline the pay-per-view with this, especially if they need time to take the ropes down and set the cage up. You know, they're not going to take the time to do that and then have another match after. So this is tailor-made for a Matt Riddle win, especially since Rollins won the last match. And since we know they're, they're doing war games at Survivor Series this year, probably with the Bloodline, uh, involved, and they're not going to be doing a singles match with Roman Reigns, that pretty much eliminates the possibility of there being a Reigns and Rollins match. If they were going to uh, be doing a match with Rollins and Reigns, then you can't have Rollins lose here. But if they're not putting him in a championship match anytime soon, then Rollins can lose. They had Kurt Angle officiate the very first one. Triple H, I think, should put aside whatever issue they have with Ken Shamrock and they should pick up the phone to call and ask him to be the guest referee for the fight pit match at Extreme Rules. They did not even have tap outs in this company until Ken Shamrock debuted in 1997. And then all of a sudden, everybody was tapping out. Before, it was the verbal submission. Only after Shamrock came in and introduced the whole concept to this company did we get the whole tapping out thing. That's part of his legacy in this company. It would be very appropriate to finally bring Shamrock back for this and then maybe induct him next year into the Hall of Fame. There was a backstage segment with the Alpha Academy and Johnny Gargano. Kevin Owens walked up, coming off of his win over Theory, and he said, Johnny had my back out there, so now I'm going to have his. And Gable issued a challenge to both of them for a match on Raw tomorrow night, which he at the time did not realize happens to be in KO's home country of Canada. They're going to be in Edmonton tomorrow night. So tomorrow, we're going to get a Panda Express reunion. Years ago, in the AIW promotion, Absolute Intense Wrestling, Gargano and Steen were a tag team called Panda Express. True story. Kevin Steen was going on his first European tour. He was going to Germany, and he did not want to go. He didn't speak the language. He didn't know anybody there. But then he found out that Johnny Gargano was going to be on the same tour. And he had seen Gargano once or twice, so he kind of knew of him, so he went. And then he realized that Johnny liked pandas, just like he does, and they became best friends. Other guys were probably out carousing and drinking and trying to fuck anything that moved, watching uh, German porn or whatever wrestlers do over there when they visit Germany. These two, though, they stayed up in the hotel lobby until 5 in the morning watching panda videos on their phones. Hence, the Panda Express was born. 
Now, I doubt the WWE would actually call them that or else they would get sued. I think they should reach out to the Panda Express people to get the restaurant as a sponsor. I think they can make money off this. Uh, great orange chicken, by the way, if you've never eaten at a Panda Express before. I know it's fast food Chinese, but it's very good. Anyway, Panda Express on Raw tomorrow night. This will have to do until we get DIY back together. And until the uh, bloodline turns on Sami Zayn and we get the reunion with KO. Uh, 